Hi everyone, George Duran here, and today I am making you a mango avocado tostones. And if you haven't made tostones before, you're gonna see how simple it is to make, especially using the Musa 10 inch saute pan. These colorful Musa saute pans come in different colors and sizes. Its three millimeter thickness make them lightweight, and with its non-stick cooking surface, your foods will never stick again. Each saute pan features a cool touch color painted knob. All right, let's begin by first making the crab and avocado mix. I'm gonna start with some finely chopped shallots, the crab meat. Now try to use a very ripened mango. This is certainly gonna give it a lot of sweetness to the dish. If you can't find ripened mangoes, they sell them in the frozen aisle, believe it or not. That works just fine. Cut both sides of the mango with a sharp chef's knife and use the knife to score the inside into little cubes. Then use a spoon to remove the mango cubes into the crab mixture, just like that. And now for the avocado. Cut the avocado in half, remove the seed, and score the inside again with a knife. Use a spoon to remove the avocado cubes. The sazon, add the sazon or any seasoned salt to the crab mix. And I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime in here too. And go ahead and mix that up. Oh, that looks beautiful. Okay, this is ready. We're gonna put it aside and we're gonna start frying our tostones. Now to make tostones, you need unripened plantains. That means the plantain has to be green and hard like this. But first, we gotta preheat our oil. Add the vegetable oil into your Emusa saute pan and turn the heat to high. All right, let me show you how to peel a plantain. A lot of people have different methods. This is a method that is quite simple and isn't all that complicated. And I'm just gonna cut off the edges just like this. And then you're gonna get the knife and kind of make a little slit down one of the ends, turn it around and do it on the other end, just like that. Then use your fingers to kind of get in there and start peeling in there. It's a little difficult at first, but once you get it open, just slide your finger into the skin and pull out like that. See, see how that's coming out? It actually comes out really easily. Once you get your finger in there and you slide it, this is perhaps the easiest way for me to peel a plantain. Just like that. Look at that. It worked pretty good, right? You got the plantain there. Go ahead and do that with the other plantain too. So now what we're gonna do is cut these plantains into one inch pieces, just like that. And let's fry them up. This oil is about 350 degrees. You want it kind of hot, you know? You want it to fry on both sides. So go ahead and put those plantain pieces right into the saute pan, just like that. And once you start seeing one of the sides getting a little brown, that's when you flip it around like this. Once it's browned, use a little shallow dish and put some paper towels on it and go ahead and place those pieces of tostones on that paper towel. These tostones aren't ready to eat. We first have to mash them up, refry them so they can be nice and flat and crispy so they can hold our mango and avocado. So you can use one of these tostoneras by Emusa, but if you don't have a tostonera, well, you can use another one of their frying pans to kind of mash the plantains. Watch. Take a cooked plantain piece and use the bottom of a saute pan to add some pressure and gently mash down the tostones. This will create a nice round tostone, which we will later refry. Our oil is nice and hot, and we're ready to go ahead and start refrying these plantains. Here we go. Once golden brown, place them on a plate with a paper towel and allow to slightly cool down. Great, these look perfect to be topped with a mango and avocado salsa, just like this. Serve these tostones topped with a mango, crab, and avocado as decadent hors d'oeuvres, and watch your friends and family love you more than ever. And there you have it, folks. I hope you like the recipe. There's a lot more where that came from. I'm George Zoran, see you soon. For this recipe and many more, including tips, check out emusausa.com or visit us at facebook forward slash emusausa.